how does it feel to have Jack back at five? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's great to have him back. Um, we've wanted him back for a while, so um, it's all played out and uh, he's back now. Uh, it'd be great to have him back on the field as, as soon as possible as well. Um, or as I've said it before, we're a much better side with him playing and um, we're a better team with him here. So, it's sort of no hard feelings from the, the entire playing group? Nah, we're back into it now and um, like I said, he's back in amongst us. Um, he had some stuff that he, that he had to deal with uh, personally and, and the boys respected that and, and he's back now. So, um, no hard feelings with the boys. We just want to get him back out on the track and, and playing with us as soon as possible. How did you find out the news he was back? Was it talking to Jack himself or did the club send out a message to all the players? How did that come about? Yeah, a little bit of, little bit of both. Um, obviously, you're just in contact with Jack here and there, just seeing how he's going. And then, obviously, the club informed us that he was planning on coming back. Uh, and then we obviously had our meetings about it. And it was actually pretty brief. We, you know, we wanted him back. Um, and it was a brief chat. Uh, and he's back. So uh, there wasn't too much into it. How about Jack? How did he address coming back to the club and his teammates? Yeah, he was great. You know, he just sort of explained his reasons and um, and why he hadn't hadn't been here, and the boys all understood it. I think we've all understood it from the start. Um, and yeah, he was he was great. Um, and yeah, he, he just sort of explained the whole situation, and uh, all the boys are pretty understanding, and um, we move forward. He's a, a fit guy generally. When do you expect him to yeah. get himself back? Yeah, I think I'd like to think pretty soon. He's a generally fit guy, and. Um, He's been started training again today, so you've probably seen him out there. He, look, he looks great, but uh, that's up to him and the fitness staff to, to figure out, but uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Just your take on the uh, injury issues of the club at the moment. Now it seems like every session you're yeah. losing one or two. How's the group feeling about it? Yeah, obviously you you don't want any injuries. Um, we'd have, love to have none, but that, that's part of footy, and that's just um, what we've got to deal with. So ideally we'd love none, but we've, we've got a heap at the moment. But uh, I'll, I'll look at the positives of it. There's a lot of opportunity now for these young boys who've probably not been starved of it, but they've, it's been hard for them to break into our side. So they've got a lot of opportunity now, and, um, which is great. It's a it's great upside, great for our fans to see our young boys coming through. But um, yeah, sooner we can get all of our lists together um, and, and back on the track would be great. Is there a way to harness what's going on into some sort of motivation going into Sunday? Yeah, well, I don't know about harnessing. I think we've had motivation the whole time. Like the, our motivation is to win. I think everyone wants to win. Um, whether we got our best side on the park or we got a heap of injuries or whatever, whatever it is, whatever the situation arises, you still, your motivation is still to win. Um, and I feel like we still can win and, and we'll be going out there on, sat, on Sunday and, and trying to do that. So um, as much as you do get injuries and it, and it can flatten you for a couple of hours, really, that's all it is. You, you're back on, back on the horse and, and, you're, uh, and you're moving forward. You've got a list of 45 blokes for a reason, and this is the reason. So we are scraping it, but um, yeah, this is a reason. great opportunity, and the motivation is definitely still there. You have to look outside those 45 guys and, and play with some top-up players. Yep. How would you handle that as a teammate, having not trained with them? How do you have to help them sort of adjust to AFL footy on the day? Yeah, well, that would be the, the thing. That you just have to help them as much as you can. Uh, we'd probably try keeping it simple for them. They do know how to play footy. It is a different level, but um, I think the, the biggest thing would be just be the understanding that they haven't played before and they've been rushed into a side. Um, and the same thing, though, it's, it's great. It's great for those blokes who've toured away in the waffle for multiple years now and they might get a sniff um, and have an opportunity to prove themselves. So I look at that as a, as a positive as well. Hopefully we don't have to go to that um, and our list is still capable of building a team. Um, but if we do, it's, yeah, it's still exciting. Yeah, I'd, I'd, you'd have to ask everyone individually, but I think you know we'd, we'd just have to embrace it and and deal with it because that's just the way it is. But um, that's the first I've heard of it, so I don't I don't I'm not too worried about what's going on in the future. Really, I'm, I'm focused on this week. But if we have to do that, then I'm sure we'll we'll discuss it and do whatever we can to keep the game going. So um, ideally, we'd love to have it here and not leave. But um, I'm sure when if that does arise, I'm sure we'll we'll figure it out and try and make it work as best as possible. Are there any sacrifices? You uh, I wouldn't say no, no massive sacrifices. I don't think it's a sacrifice, it's more of a choice of um, just being a bit careful um, with our injuries as well. It doesn't help if you know we're, we're getting COVID, and, but it's, it's 
nature of it, it's just life at the moment. The people are going to get it. Um, just trying to do everything you can without completely ruining your life um, is probably probably the the balance you've got to try to find. Just be a little, little bit careful, but still live your life a little bit. Simo confirmed Brady Hoff um, will debut this week. What have you made of him? You've seen him pretty up close over yeah. the pre-season. Yeah, I've been stoked with him. Um, he's come in, he's put his head down and done everything he can for, for a young footballer. And uh, His opportunities come early, round one, which is great. Great for him, great for his family. And um, He's a great young kid, So and he, and he showed plenty. Um, I'm extremely excited about him, especially as and he's a backman. So um, I love seeing the backs come through and, and doing well. So I'm hoping he, uh, I'm hoping he gets three Brownlow votes on the weekend. And uh, the back line is pretty strong with numbers at the moment, but... Harry Edwards, can you be able to fit him in with yourself and Tommy? Yeah, you have to speak to Simo with that one, but I'd, I'd like to think so, yeah. I feel like we can can do it with the three of us, and um, it, I'm sure it'll be a week-to-week -week thing and, and match-ups and, and all the other things that the match committee go into. But, um, yeah, if you're asking me personally, I feel like we can do it, but that's up to the match committee. Do you have any chance to swing forward this week? I oh, keep putting my hand up, don't worry, I'm, I'm always asking to go for it. I think we're all the backs do, but um, mate, I'll play wherever, wherever the best spot is for the team. And um, if I can sneak forward and kick a snag, that'd be awesome. But if not, I'll, uh, I'll try to stop a couple. Big clap, that, big clap that Simo went to Tommy before you, because he's a former forward yourself. Yeah, look, I was a bit cut. No, I was, I, I, I understand it. And it's good. The best part of it for, for Tommy getting some time up there is actually it actually helps your defence, I feel, um, and understanding of the way the forwards work and the patterns and the way they run. So it was great for Tommy. Um, it was good, good, good for him to get a look up there and um, add another string to his bow. And uh, Yeah, whoever goes up there, we don't really mind, but um, hopefully the Simo picks me next time. That's what I was going to ask, but um, Sam Petrusky-Seaton will yep. probably play on Sunday. How do you think he's going to go first game for Newcastle? Yeah, good. He's had a, he's had a really good pre-season. Um, and same, same with Brady Hoff, he's really put his head down um, and trained hard and, and earned his respect from the boys. And um, So yeah, I'm excited to see him. Um, you've, well, he's played AFL footy before, which is, which is great, but um, he brings a lot of energy to the group. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to hopefully play with him on the weekend. Connor West looks like he's benefited from a full pre-season as well. Do you think he's play a significant role this season? Yeah, definitely. Um, a, lot of our, a lot of our young boys have really had great pre-seasons. West is one of them. Um, and yeah, he's done everything he can to put his hand up each week, and he does that when, the way he trains and the way he applies himself um, in our four walls. So um, I'd like to think he's, he's going to have a, as much impact as he can. It looks to be touch and go. Do you have any thoughts or feelings about how you should approach that? Yeah, I'll, mate, I'd love to have him out there as soon as possible, but um, obviously with his with his hammies, he could probably be a bit cautious. But he's, I think he's going to get through training on Thursday and a possibility to play this week, which is great. Um, but uh, that'll be up to the fitness staff and, and Luke, obviously. But, um, yeah, you'd love him out there as soon as possible. It's not your line, obviously, the midfield, but they're pretty thin, obviously, with Tim unavailable, Luke touch and go, and we're still doing a hamstring yeah. issue. Uh, how are you going to cover the depth there? Just give the players a roll through there and short burst, I think? Yeah, like, we'll have different guys roll through there, and you've seen a, a multiple of blokes run through there on, um, through the pre-season games. Jackson Nelson's gone to the wing. we got Nation. Now, as a winger, you like Petrocelli's ran through there, Rioli's ran through there, so we've got a bit of depth there. Young boys are coming up as well. Xavier O'Neill should get an opportunity. Um, so yeah, those those boys have, have been training, like I said, and, and doing everything they can through pre-season. So they, now they've got the opportunity to uh, to implement it on game day for us. A lot of injuries, like you mentioned, uh, Jeremy, but personally yourself, how are you feeling come Sunday? Yeah, good. Yeah, feeling good. Um, pre-season's had no real interruptions. It's yeah, everything's going pretty well. So, um, yeah, I'm, feel, I'm feeling great and ready to get into it. And uh, obviously with the issues I've talked about, the being uh, pretty widely written off around the country this season, how do you feel about uh, you know, everyone kind of yeah, jumping up here and writing you up early? Oh, it is what it is. Like, that's people's jobs, I guess, is to judge everyone. That's, it's a great job. <laughs> but, um, yeah, oh, mate, so be it. Like, whatever. Um, we, we know what we can do um, and we know what we want to do. So, and we'll be doing that as much as we can this year. And um, it starts with Gold Coast this week. We're not looking too far into anything else and writing us off for wooden spoons or that. We haven't even played a game yet. So, um, yeah, we're going to focus on Gold Coast this week and, uh, and we'll see what happens. But belief-wise, there's still belief there. I feel like our list can still perform. Mm -hmm.